Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kamaya. If you're interested in seeing how I install these Yaki straight tape ends, then keep on watching. <laughs> sent three bundles of kinky straight not yaki straight tape ends by y wigs each bundle is 18 inches and each bundle is super thick this is just how many tapes come in each bundles and this is the texture that the hair comes in in the package also came a care guide with a lot of tips on how to take care of these tape ends and they also gifted me this cute little ghost clip. Um, this texture of tape ends actually feel very similar to my natural hair and it's also very lightweight. I chose this texture because I know my natural hair doesn't really stay straight when I straighten it and I just thought this texture would be best fitting for my natural hair which it was so if you're one of the girls who don't really get the silky silk presses this might be for you so this is how my hair looked after i straightened it yes i know it's not straight but this is just what my natural hair does i'm starting off by showing you guys the leave out that i'm doing i'm basically leaving out the entire perimeter of my natural hair so I did this for both the back and the front. After I parted out the part that I want for the front, I do a little flat twist just to get that out of the way. Next, I do leave out for the center of my head as well because I also want to wear this style in a half up, half down. You want to have a section thick enough so that you could part it to have one section to cover the lower half, which is the part that's down, and one section to catch up into the upper half, which is the part that will be up. And that's only if you're planning on doing a half up, half down. If you're not, then you could totally just skip this step and forget everything that I just said. Now, I'm just going to move on to doing my side part and my center part. I wanted to have dual parts, that way I could make this style as versatile as I'd like to. And also, if I ended up not liking one part, I could just do the other. For the side part, I usually wear my hair in a high side part, so I just parted out a section that was thick enough to cover both sides of the side part. Next, for the middle part, I do the same thing, creating a section that's thick enough for me to split into two to cover both sections of the center part. For the tape-in process, you're going to have a thin section of your natural hair. I would suggest that if you want to add any additional heat to the tape-ins, you do that before you install it. You're going to rest one tape on top of that thin section, trying to make sure it's not too close to your root. Then, you're going to place the other tape underneath the first tape-in on the opposite section of your natural hair. You want to make sure that these two tapes align so they could stick together through um, the natural hair. And you also want to make sure that the natural hair is thin enough between the two tapes so that they could actually stick together and stay. I personally thought the tape in needed a little bit more um, flat ironing so that's why I'm going through it again. But I would actually recommend you not doing that just so you don't cause heat damage to your hair. Now that the first pair of tape ends are in, you're going to want to part off one section above that and just leave that section alone. Then move on and part another thin layer above that section. And that is where you will install your second pair of tape ends. 
The whole taping process is pretty much going by your best judgment. You'll determine where you may need to put tapes and where you may not. Also, you want to pay attention to the density of your own natural hair. If your hair is pretty thin, I think leaving out a bit more leave out would be a little better if you do plan to like wear your hair up because that way the leave out could hide the tapes much better. I think this whole installation process of the tape ends was pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, and pretty much just went on by you observing and determining what would be best for your hair. So if you've been thinking about trying tape ends, I say go for it because honestly, it's not that hard to install. Like once you got it, you got it. I'm a bit nervous about the takedown process, but god will be with me <laughs> through the takeout process and if anything i'll do a video on how i take them out So now that you guys have seen me install the tape ends, I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of back information. So based on the package that I was sent by YWIG, you could treat these tape ends like you would treat your natural hair. Meaning you could straighten it, blow dry it, wash it, and they're meant to last up to 12 weeks. The average time frame they're meant to last is 8 to 12 weeks and I think factors such as how well you install them and how well you maintain them comes into play with that. So it might be able to last a little longer or it might last a little shorter because of how um, you installed it. Pretty sure I said this before, but if I didn't, this is 18 inches. I haven't cut them, I haven't shaped them. I just wanted you guys to see the full length. This is 18 inches and these are only, not even two, this is one and a half bundles. The bundles that they sent me were very thick, like they, miss no meals those bundles were very thick you see what it's given it's given a full head of hair so the process of installing these tape ins was a bit tricky and i feel like i didn't really get great angles on the camera but i tried my best the thing that was tricky about it was really trying to record and install it I feel like if I wasn't trying to record, it would be much easier because it's literally parting your hair and sandwiching the tape ends between it. I've seen a lot of other people say this in their tutorial and I'm going to say it as well. When you're sandwiching the hair, you got to make sure you don't have too much of your natural hair between the tapes or they will fall out. Like that's what happened to me. I thought I was doing something, taped the two tape ends, combed it out and the tape ends literally just slid out. So you want to make sure you kind of have like a thin layer of your natural hair between the two tapes. That way it will stay longer and hold more securely. So with this specific texture of tape in, I find that it's not holding my curls that well. Like it gives a little body wave for sure. Like the body waves are here. But the way that my curls were before, they it's not holding curls that well. But it does stay straight. As you guys saw in the intro portion of this video these tape ends had the crimps in it once i um straightened it 
the crimps were able to come out and stay out so that's something i love about this hair but the one thing is it's not holding curls that well for me i'm gonna try to use maybe rods next time and see how that works because i did use the wand my wand skills aren't the hottest so we'll see how the um flexi rods hold up so the closest thing I've ever used to tape-ins are clip-ins and the difference between tape-ins and clip-ins is so dramatic. Literally when I go to sleep I feel nothing. I can lay down and like nothing is poking me, nothing is hurting me. This is such a cute and great invention. I want to get tape-ins again but in the kinky curly texture because then it's really going to give wash and go. Um, I think that's pretty much all I could say about these tape-ins for now. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in my um, comment section down below. I'll leave any additional information about the tape-ins down in the description box. So if, you, if I might have missed something or if you might have missed something, you'll be able to refer to it down there thank you guys so much for watching this video if you find it to be helpful give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos by me subscribe to my channel and comment down below would you try tapins or like would you try this texture specifically let me know i promise i won't be but hurt if you say no but i really love this texture i think it's best fit in for my natural hair but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below bye guys i'll see you in my next video